Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Telecom video. Let us discuss the resolution of Sniper Elite 3 as well as the Order 1866. So, of course, one of these involves the PlayStation 4 and one of these involves both the PS4 and the Xbox One. I've linked in the video description an article that I've wrote which pretty much goes over this exact same topic but I've included a screenshot in there of 1866 to illustrate what I'm referring to. So, there was a recent interview conducted from one of the members at Ready at Dawn Studio. This is, by the way, concerning the Order 1866. Can we just call it the Order, please? Anyway, um... And it was concerning resolution and uh, frame rate. And he stated, um, Rue stated, currently we do not aim for 60 FPS. In a first person shooter, that surely makes sense. Also, fighting games are undoubtedly predestined to be 60. But as for the cinematic experience in this foreground, basically focus presented in full HD 1080p. In favour of spectacular effects and the highest resolutions, we restrict ourselves to a fluid 30 FPS. Now, that's the end of the quote, by the way. Now, that's sparked some controversy on ye old normal forums. I don't really need to even explain which ones. Um, because not only is it, well, fluid... 30 frames a second, they don't really go together well. I mean, don't get me wrong, if it's like 30 frames a second and maintains at 30, that's okay. Um, you know, in certain games it's okay, but to call it fluid is a bit... It's a bit dicey. Regardless, um, when you actually consider the huge black bars, which the developers have said they've added for so style to make it more cinematic, I don't know if that's true. Some people have said that that's not the case. Some people have said that the reason they've done it is to reduce the amount of um, stuff, if you will, that the GPU needs to render. I don't want to say it one way or the other because I'm not inside the developers' minds. I don't know what they're really thinking. Regardless, if you actually do do the maths, remember the large black bars, bars I'm sorry, bars, the large black bars don't really require any GPU rendering power whatsoever. And so, if you actually grab an image, I've actually done this for you in the article, which is one of the reasons I've stared you to it, but you can see exactly what I mean if you want to click on it. If not, you can just do it yourselves. But basically, if you get an image in... Uh, of the order and you scale it to like uh, 1920 by 1080 or you can you know have a, if you manage to find a native one on Google or you can look on the website it's up to you um, you can see that there's large black bars so what you do if you measure them or you, or you just crop that's another easy way to do it if you just crop away the black bars and check the image size is actually 1920 by uh, 800 which is obviously substantially less than uh, 1920 by 1080 it doesn't sound like that much but it's pretty much like rounding this up by the way 1.5 million pixels versus just a smidgen, a hair, a jot over 2 million pixels of a difference. So, pretty much, that's quite substantial. You're basically losing 500,000 pixels just from that. So, it's actually amazing just how a few hundred pixels in a height can make a difference, right? So, now we get to fast forward 24 hours. And, of course, Sniper Elite 3 has now been unveiled. And there was an interview conducted... Um, by the developers, and they found out that the PS4 version of Sniper Elite will actually run slightly ahead of the Xbox One. And I'm going to read you guys out an exact quote. Well, as soon as possible to 60 frames a second on both machines, it will probably be closer to 60 on the PlayStation 4, but it drops to around 40 to 50. But you won't really feel or notice it. It may be a little slow on the Xbox One, but we are hoping to have full pro a priority between the two machines. The only thing the Xbox won't, won't have is the stereoscopic 3D, as they do not support it yet. Um, so obviously, you know... Uh, by the way, I said quote. So obviously, this really depends on the uh, what's going on on screen. Of as the more stuff that's happening, the lower the frame rate is going to be. Pretty simple. Not anything particularly new there. Um, I don't really think that this is a surprise per se to a lot of people. Obviously, there is 
a quite a lot of games right now that are either running low resolution or lower frame rate on the Xbox One. To be fair, we don't know what the resolution of either console is running natively at the moment. I imagine that the developers are probably still trying to finalize that. They're obviously right now trying to finalize the performance of both machines. So anyway, um, this is just a quickie. Uh, I've also linked to the description of the article if you so wish, which also gives you the sources and all that jazz. But as I said, there's not that much information, just pretty much what I uh, said to you guys. But as I said, this isn't particularly new this isn't really unexpected. Certain games are going to be running at 1080p. For example, you know, you you hear about small indie developers who are running games. And I don't necessarily include Resogun in this because, to be honest with you, the amount of stuff that's happening um, on screen on Resogun is really impressive. If you've not checked it out on PlayStation um, Plus, I'd really recommend you download it. It's really good. But... Um, other games, you know, like top-down shooters and stuff, you know, there's a couple of ty times that, like, yeah, it runs at full 1080p, 60fps on the PS4, and, you know, people are using that for like, kind of, like, newsworthy stuff, but I don't really think it is. It's like, you know, the PS3 or Xbox 360 would probably be able to run that game. Maybe at not 1080, they could probably run it at, like, I don't know, 720. Obviously, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you get the idea. It's not really a technically demanding game. So, of course, the system can easily run it, so that's not really a good comparison point. But obviously, on games like The Order, this is just further illustrating that, you know, even the PlayStation 4, despite the fact that it does indeed boast this GPU advantage and extra memory bandwidth, developers are still going to need to make certain decisions and certain choices regarding what they're going to do for the sake of artistic entertainment. And, completely off topic, well, somewhat off topic from the perspective of PC, uh, well, consoles anyway, I'm going to be doing another video, completely reverse to this actually, I'm going to be showing you guys how to down sample using the PC, hopefully in the next couple of days. Um, in case you're not familiar with what the technique is it basically involves you let's assume that your screen is 1080p uh, this is for pc obviously basically you can force the graphics card to intend internally render at let's say 1440p and then you can uh force a gpu to downscale that to uh fit your screen so let's assume it's 1440p it will downscale it to 1080 and this acts very much like a form of anti-aliasing you can then actually add anti-aliasing on top of that and you can get some ludicrously sharp images as well as better texture quality and so on so i'm going to be uh showing you guys that as well anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon take care and bye for now